This is definitely a feature pack motherboard from MSI, it's their Z170A Gaming M7. It's a kind of mid to high tier motherboard and it's definitely worth a watch if you're looking for a Z170 motherboard. Stick around for more information. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So as I said, this is a pretty feature rich motherboard and I guess we should start taking a look at them. So the first one is these reinforced PCI slots. You get two of them, they're quite common on uh, Z170 motherboards and uh, basically means if you put a big heavy graphics card in, it won't snap at any point. You also get a gaming LAN chip which powers the killer uh, killer NIC and it's pretty awesome, awesome, you know, really good for a gaming and, and packet prioritization. You also get the Audio Boost 3 technology which is great for uh, obviously gaming and general sound um, and you get the split PCB with that as well. You also get two 32 2 gigabit per second M.2 slots, which is really nice, and a nice looking chipset heatsink to boot as well. And you also get, uh, you know, a load of, sort of buttons on the bottom to a BIOS flashback switch, a slow mode um, switch, as well as the uh, you know, power reset and the sort of auto overclocking button. The Rio is a clear CMOS button, three USB 2 ports, uh, two USB 3 ports, 3.1 Type C, two HDMI's, display port as said that killer neck, standard audio and PS2 port. It's nice to see USB Type-C on here as well, which is obviously, as as I said, quite nice. So you get, uh, in terms of storage, you get two SATA Express ports as well, two SATA ports. You also get two USB 3 headers, uh, front panel headers, one of which is right angle, the 24 pin, and a littering of four panel fan, uh, four pin fan headers. You also get some uh, sort of uh, debug LEDs at the top, which is quite cool to see what's broken, like graphics card, CPU or RAM, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, the VRM heatsink doesn't do too much in the way of like things like water cooling or anything, but it does look quite cool and does allow for a very nice overclock on this board. You also get, as said, an Nice chips that you think. Now we're testing this on our i7-6700K with 8GB of uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM and I must say it's a very nice experience. I'll talk a bit more about the BIOS later but as I said it is a very sort of feature rich motherboard. The Audio Boost 3 technology was quite nice um, with a you know, very nice sound. The uh, reinforced PCI slots are a nice touch and uh, things like the M.2 slots are quite cool if you want lots of storage and sort of surface mount to keep a, a, your build quite tidy. Um, and also do quite like the sort of the design of the DDR4 boost kind of decal on the board. Fits quite well with one of the mods we saw in Insomnia, which is actually quite cool. So uh, yeah, carrying on with the the sort of board itself, um, it's a very nice, uh, but not the highest end board. So you know, it's not like a sort of titanium board. Um, so you can't expect all the bells and whistles, but it does look quite cool. The chipset does light up from the sort of sides. It's not shone through. But it does kind of light up like a Christmas tree with all the uh, red and green LEDs that are on here for um, you know the chips that you sync. But then all of the buttons are green and the debug LEDs are the, the, screw, the sort of seven segment displays at the bottom um, that you can see there. They're also green. So it kind of mixes and matches but still does look quite cool especially if you're looking at it in the dark. And uh, yeah that red LED for the split PCB always looks awesome uh, with a sort of nice shine on the back of the, the motherboard there. Now in terms of the, the BIOS, um, it's actually a really, really nice experience. I've used MSI BIOSes before and this one is just a bit of an update to that. So the first thing you'll see when you boot into the BIOS is this easy mode which basically shows you things like the CPU frequency and vCore and stuff like that. Um, and you're also able to see all the boot priorities. You can turn on XMP very easily, see the hardware monitor to change fan curves and stuff like that. Currently I only have the, uh, the water cooling system set up but um, yeah, that you can then hit F7 or the advanced tab and very easily jump through the proper settings as well as overclock. It's incredibly easy to overclock in this board and with Skylake you just change the uh, CPU base clock and then up the voltage a tad and make sure your overclock is stable. You can also make sure that your DRAM frequency stays the same um, so that you're not accidentally overclocking the RAM while you overclock the chip. So that's pretty cool. Also the M flash utility is actually really useful. I've used it before on other motherboards and you do have dual BIOS on this board with a hardware switch that's quite cool. The uh, board explorer is quite cool as well to see what the board has detected and what hasn't and you know what's connected via USB ports and stuff so that's always nice to see and you can also save OC profiles which is always nice. 
is generally a very nice BIOS and uh, something that is kind of crucial if you want to do any overclocking as well. So it's a nice touch and I'm going to go over my opinions now. So I really do like this board. It is definitely a very feature packed board, which is always nice to see. Now this is a direct comparison by price to the Asus uh, Maximus 8 Hero that we checked out recently. Now that's a very, you know, kind of stark comparison and personally speaking, I prefer the looks of the Asus board and the BIOS of this board. If you could put the two together, that would be just my dream Z170 board probably, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely, this board is very, very nice, um, but if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with the Asus one just because I tend not to look in the BIOS all that much, so looks is probably more important to me, but if you're looking for a budget gaming, uh, overclocking, and just generally cool looking board, then this one is definitely something you should look at. In terms of pros and cons, as I said, it's a very very nice uh, board and it is relatively good looking if it is you know your taste um, you also have also USB type C which is nice SATA Express the two M.2 slots which is always cool and a very nice BIOS the cons are personally that it's not my you know favorite looking board so that's gonna be it's sort of one the main and pretty much only con for me and uh, yeah, in terms of uh, sort of scoring, we're gonna give it a four for value for money, uh, five for performance because all motherboards are pretty much the same now, uh, five for functionality because of those two M.2 slots and the amazing BIOS. Um, it's gonna get a four for style just because it's not my favorite, and it's gonna get a four for Tech Team newbie score. It's also gonna get the Gamer Approved Award because it is definitely yeah, an amazing gaming board. And if you're looking, as I said, for a overclocking friendly or a gaming friendly motherboard, this could be the one for you. So if you want any more information, check out the written review on the website as always and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already check us out on Facebook and Twitter if you want to see any more uh, information I did actually put a little teaser in this video so if you uh, you want any more uh, futuristic t uh, future video teasers uh, or anything like that then check out our Facebook and Twitter buy this board on Amazon uh, in the links down below or just check it the Amazon link over there as it helps us out a hell of a lot and uh, it just means that we get uh, both more money and more sponsors in to be able to do stuff like these videos so that's obviously very important for us so please do check it out uh, also feel free to buy some really awesome uh, hoodies, t-shirts, all that sort of stuff so if you are interested in a cool piece of clothing we do have some funny ones as well, check those out um, other than that check out some of the videos that are over there and uh, yeah we'll see you all in the next video, thanks for watching